Something amazing that we see during the times of Shovavim is that it's a very big time to metaken. It's a very big time to metaken any Avera in this Gilgul, a previous Gilgul, especially Averot like our rabbis tell us that have to do with immorality. Gilui Arayot, this is the time to metaken. And our rabbis tell us that Averot that have to do with Gilui Arayot, are Averot that are actually destroying the world. Let's look at the times of the Mabul. In the times of the Mabul, they didn't have the Torah yet. They didn't have to keep the Torah. There were no Jews even. And yet, Hashem brought a Mabul to the entire world. And in the year 1656, the Olam, the world got drowned, except for eight people. Noah, his wife, three children, and three daughter-in-laws. The eight people that made it out on the Teba, not even a minyan. Eight people. Why did Hashem bring a mabul? What did they do? They didn't have the Torah. What crime did they do? And the Torah tells us the crime that they did, how immoral they were. But they're goyim. It doesn't make a difference. Goyim are not allowed to be immoral. Goyim, goyim are not allowed to do gilui arayot. They cannot do these sins, barminan. This is not something that is religious. This is not a religious point. This is an ethical point. This could be spoken to about the goyim. To the goyim. This is tag and filters. It's not a Jewish concept. The goyim were killed because of this avira. The goyim are not allowed to do these sins. This has nothing to do with fanaticism and extremism and religion. Nothing at all. This has to do with humanitarianism. Being a human. You cannot be immoral. You cannot be unethical. You have to be yashar. You have to be kadosh. Because chas v'shalom, immorality, promiscuity, is begeder, hariga, killing. Shifichut amim. And even Goyim are not allowed to do Shifi Amim. Even Goyim are not allowed to do Giloy Arayot.